and welcome to Sanford Flip Math. We are working on calculus, AP calculus, working from the Finney Demana Waits Kennedy book, uh, third edition. And we are working through chapter four. Chapter four is again about applications of derivatives. And uh, the section we're looking at is specifically about linearization. And the idea here is about taking a function that may be a complicated function or maybe a function we don't really have all of the information for and building uh, from the idea of derivative uh, being slope, the idea that we can do an approximation for this function uh, based on uh, y prime and uh, some x value plus b, or maybe we might use y minus some y value. Uh, again, the idea is use, using the derivative as a starting point. Okay? All right. Um, I'm going to take this one more step, and this this is actually kind of going to end up background for us. Okay, so you're going to see this again in just a second. Okay, all right. So the the heart of this idea is the idea that if I start out at a point on a graph, okay, I'm going to call that cleverly x and y, and if I'm interested in knowing the y value, you know, I, I, let's say I really don't know what the function is, but I want to know the y value real close to that point. Okay, so I, I'm going to scooch over from that x value a little bit to another x value. Then the y value is probably going to scooch, or it could change a little bit also. And the idea is that if I know y prime, also known as dy dx, if I multiply that y prime times a change in x, then what I end up with is a change in y. All right, let, let, let's do an example. Okay. okay, so let's say I happen to know that f prime at a specific point, uh, let's say 3, happens to be uh, 5. Let's say I also happen to know that the y value at a specific point is, uh, let's say, 2. Okay, so just to get a picture of what's going on, and this is not how I would normally do this uh, in terms of the drawing of it, I wouldn't normally, um, but I just want you to see what's going on. I know the derivative there is 5, so I have a fairly steep line there, or a fairly steep uh, rate of increase there. Let's say what I'd really like to know is what's f of 3.1. Well, obviously, I don't have a function. I can't just put in 3.1. But if I assume, I know that's a scary thing, if I assume that very close to the original point, uh, that it's approximately linear, if that's true, then I can use the idea that dy dx times dx is about dy, a change in y. Okay, so in other words, I know that I know what this uh, slope is at three. Okay, so the slope at three is five. Okay, so I'm taking this is what I just kind of did was I wrote down the five, the slope at three. Okay. I know my change in x, well, if I'm going from 3 to 3.1, the change in x, or the dx, or delta x, whichever, is 0.1. So I'm going to multiply this times 0.1. So the idea is that when I multiply those, I get 0.5. And that should be roughly my change in y change in y or dy. We're using these two ideas basically interchangeably. Okay. So if that's true, my change in y, 0.5, well, I know I started at a y value of 2, so my new y value ought to be 2 plus that change in y, or in other words, 2.5. Okay, so again, the goal of this was to find an approximation for this value, and that's what we got based on what we had here. Okay, all right. So 
let's write that up in a little bit of an equation. Okay, and again, the idea is, um, I don't want F, I want, the idea is, based on, that, that was nice. Okay, sorry, it's early. The idea is, just keep saying that, the idea is, based on this. So, Y is going to be, well, based on this, Y actually is equal to, if, if we were looking at a line, equal to Y1 plus M times X minus X1. Well, since we're really not talking about a line, what we're saying then is Y is going to be approximately equal to Y1 plus, that's a plus sign, the derivative of Y, times the change in x. Written in function notation, so what we're going to say is f of x is approximately equal to some specific y value plus the derivative at that specific point times x minus that specific x value. Uh, the book does it something like this. And sometimes people get a little freaked out about this, but I just need you to see that this is the idea. It's based on that. So what I'd like to do is go back and do that same problem we just did with this notation. Okay, so I had uh, f prime of 3 was 5, f of 3 was 2, and I wanted f of 3.1. So I'm just going to follow this notation then. Okay, so f of 3.1 is about equal to, well, the y value that I have is 5. The slope that I have, whoop, back up. The y value that I have was 2. The slope that I have was 5. And I'm doing 3.1 minus 3. Okay, so I'm saying 2 plus five times point one, which is two plus point five, which is two point five. Okay. Okay, let's do another example and what we're gonna do is this time we're gonna start with an actual e equation. And please understand that the real power of this is when you don't know the original equation, but we need practice doing derivatives also. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, This one is actually straight out of the book. It's number four from page 242. And so we're just going to go through this process. Now, again, the idea is start with the equation of a tangent line or the, uh, and, and remember that that's what linearization, or, or I guess I should say it, maybe it's not remember. Linearization is basically uh, using uh, local linearization, or in other words, the idea of uh, a tangent line, uh, that's supposed to be an A, and uh, I've lingered, sorry, uh, using a tangent line, which is based on derivative, to approximate a function. Okay, so that, that is what linearization is, and I'm sure that at some point I'm going to specifically ask you that, so that's kind of a big deal. Okay, so linearization is using the equation of a tangent line, or uh, in other words, derivative, to approximate a function, and we usually do that near uh, points for small, small increments in x, you know, away from known values. Okay, all right, so again, this, this is uh, number four, and what we're going to do is do a linearization. First of all, we're just going to set up a linearization, and then we're going to use that uh, to approximate uh, when x is 0.1, what is y, okay? All right, so the linearization is just the equation of a tangent line. So you can just start out with y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, like back in algebra 1, if you wish, and that's really all this is. This is not a new concept, it's just, it looks scary with all these Fs, and it's really not. And I, you know, you can pop back a little bit and see how it, it is the same thing, okay? All right, so what I need is an ordered pair. I need a point and a slope, okay? So 
I'm going to go ahead and do the point first. So as I put in x equals 0, and I know that because uh, I'm specifically told that a equals 0, and that's the x value that fits here. Okay, so I'm going to put in 0. And 0 plus 1 is 1, and the natural log of 1 is 0. Okay, because e to what power is 1? It's 0. Okay, so I have a point. Sweet. Well, now I need a slope. And as you know by now, slope comes from derivative, so f prime. And the derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever the argument is, x plus 1, times the derivative of the inside, which is not very exciting this time, so it's just times 1. Okay, so that means the slope, or in other words, the derivative at x equals 0, is going to be 1 over 0 plus 1, or 1. Cool. So I can, I can follow the point-slope form, and uh, basically the idea is y minus 0 equals 1 times x minus 0. And again, the, the y and the x value came from the point, which started with that. Okay, And uh, the slope came from the derivative. Now, usually we want this uh, to be solved for y. Okay, So y equals, in this case, 1x or y equals x. And uh, again, really what we're saying is this f of x is going to be approximately equal to x. And the idea is near x equals 0. And again, I'm, so an, a linearization is, a, is an OK approximation only if you're near the x value that it starts at, at which it starts. Okay. All right, well, this is going to be really exciting now. If we're trying to find an approximation for f of 0.1, then it should be approximately, well, since it's equal to, or approximately equal to x, it's just about 0.1. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is just take a quick second and remember that this was really f of x equals the natural log of x plus 1. And so if I actually put in this x value, I just want to see what it really is, the natural log of 1.1 then. And I'm just going to type this into the calculator j just to kind of get an approximation, you know, just to get an idea of how, how good my approximation is. And that, that's all I'm doing. This is really not part of the problem. Okay. Well, it turns out from the calculator, this is 0 0.09531, which is pretty close to 0 0.1. So that, that's not bad, that's, you know, depending on what kind of precision that you want. Okay. So in the book, the questions are uh, find the linearization. Okay. That was this. This is the linearization. And then it says for part B, how accurate is the approximation? Well, here was the approximation I got, and this is from the calculator. So that's pretty, pretty good. Okay. All right. So th that's the idea. Let, let's do one more. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do for this is actually just write a linear approximation for this, a linear linearization for this, and, uh, and then if we might, you know, throw in an x value or two just to see what happens. Okay, so uh, the original function is f of x equals, as you see, okay, and again, the idea is uh, we're going to write an equation, uh, basically y1 plus y prime x minus whatever value we're starting from, okay, and it's fairly common to start at zero, but it don't get excited. You know, it's not always going to be about zero. Okay, I just am doing this one because this is a fairly common one to deal with. Uh, you see it come up, and they specifically deal with it in the example in the in the examples in the book. Okay, all right. So first of all, I need a point. Now notice that this is generic for any power, and so that k is actually you're, we're going to treat it like a number. Okay, so don't get frustrated. The idea is to show you a cute little rule that's always going to work uh, for this specific setup if you have 1 plus x to some power. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, the idea is that I need a point. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put in 0. And if I put in 0, then 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 to any power is 1. That's kind of exciting. Okay, so I already know that this is going to be y is approximately equal to 1 plus. Well, now I need a derivative a slope, 
Okay, so f prime. Well, this is a power rule, and there's a bit of a chain going on here. So k times 1 plus x to the k minus 1. The exponent's 1 less. Then times the derivative of the inside. Now, remember, what we're going to do is actually use this specific x value, this specific x value. Okay, so I'm going to find f prime of 0. So it's going to be k times 1 plus 0 to the k minus 1 times 1. Well, that means f prime of 0. Well, this is just 1, and 1 to who cares what power it is is still going to be 1 times 1 is 1. So in other words, the derivative of all of this is just k. So going back over here, continuing on, my derivative is k, and I'm looking at x minus 0 because it's around x equals 0. So the, the linearization when f of x is 1 plus x to the k, the linearization f of x will approximately be 1 plus kx. So here's, here's the short version. You know, if you, it might be worth remembering this. For instance, if I have f of x equals 1 plus x to the seventh, then I know the linearization to this is going to be 1 plus 7x. And so the idea is that if I, let's say I want to know uh, f of 0.2. Well, I know it's going to be approximately 1 plus 7 times 0.2. Okay, so in other words, 1 point, sorry, uh, 2 times 7 would be 14, so I guess that's 2 point. Okay, something like that. Okay, so that, that's how you'd use that. Or, or maybe uh, if I wanted to know uh, an approximation for f of negative 0.1, again, approximately uh, 1 plus 7 times negative 0.1, so that, this actually is going to be equal to, what, 0.3? Okay. So the approximation at negative 0.1 is 0.3. Okay. Is a, so f of x is approximately equal to. Okay. All right, so let me just clarify that little equal issue that I was talking about. This is approximately equal to either of these. This and this truly are equal. This is approximately, this is approximately, as is shown by that sign. Okay? It's a detail issue. Well, I think we're going to have to leave it at this. And uh, I want to just kind of pop back to uh, the original where the list was. Um, we obviously have, uh, well, we have talked a little bit about differentials. Okay, so we've got approximating functions. The differentials are the dy or the dx. Uh, I haven't put that term on it, but that's what they are. Uh, so it's like a very, very tiny change in x, or a very, very tiny change in y. Those are differentials. And we'll be doing some stuff with that. Okay, on, on, in the next video, we'll do Newton's method, and then uh, probably start applications of differentials. Okay, all right, well, we're going to leave it at that for now. Thank you much for watching. Bye.